Alrighty, howdy, Eldritch Buddies. This is Kiwi Calamity. And today, my friends, we're breaking out the old model. We're doing things the old-fashioned way. And we're going back to V-Roid. A lot of my Minecraft viewers might be uh, confused, but uh, originally I was planning on being a VTuber. I still might. But uh, for now, that's not really in the cards. But I know why you're here. I'm not going to waste your time. Today, we're getting back into V-Roid. I've already said this, but you know what? <laughs> so Sometimes, sometimes you just gotta pull a derp. But anyway, let's hop right into it. So the first thing you're gonna wanna be needing is Unity. Uh, essentially, this is going to be the program that Uni VRM needs to work. So we're gonna go to get started and you're gonna see a couple of plans here. You can pick whatever fits you, but personally, I go for personal. That was not intentional, but we will go with that pun. But click on personal, get started. So you're gonna go to download other versions, uh, download Unity Hub for Windows or Mac or whatever fits you. You'll just click on agree, install, wait for it to finish loading and click finish. And then Unity Hub is gonna ask you for access, allow this. And Unity Hub is gonna also ask you to log in. You should do this and you should also verify your email. Because it'll save you some glitches later on. And just trust me on this, make an account, verify your email, go through with this step. It's important, it'll help. Just trust me on this. But anyway, once the verification is done, you're gonna sign into Unity whenever it suits you. And boom, Unity Hub is set up. Now we're gonna move on to the next step, which is choosing our Unity version. You're gonna go to the Visit Download Archive link. And then you're gonna go to long-term support releases. This is important because these are the versions that work best with Unity, particularly, or Unity VRM, particularly the 2019 releases. Don't, don't ask me why this one in particular works the best, even I don't know, but again, download for whatever works best for you. Windows, Mac, whatever. You're gonna open it. Once it's finished downloading, click next, click all the boxes, click Unity, blah, blah, blah. I just downloaded the base Unity stuff. I didn't feel like I needed anything else. And for this tutorial's purposes, you won't need anything more. And boom, your version's in. Now we're gonna download GitHub. Uh, this mostly is so the, the files that you download for Unity's VRM are going to work. You're gonna have to make more accounts, sign into more places, blah, 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 blah. Just authorize the stuff, download it, open GitHub, log in, and you're done. X out of GitHub, it should be fine. Now, we're gonna go back to the GitHub website and you're gonna scroll down until you see these packages. You're gonna want to download both the Uni VRM and the Uni GLTF VRM shaders. I know you need both, I just don't know what the GLTF is for. But anyway, now that both those are installed, open yourself up a project. This could be something you're already working on or this could be something new, but for, but for our purposes, I'm going to download or create a new project. It has to be 3D, it's gotta be in 2019, blah, 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 blah. I forgot I named it. Ah. Yes, just scream the pain away. Scream it away. Go to Assets, Import Package, Custom Package, and then go to your Downloads and find the packages. You're gonna wanna download these in order or import them in order. Uh, first, the GLTF. Just click Open. 
It'll start preparing the package, importing it, blah, blah, blah. I have cut how long this took. This took a couple of minutes at least, so be prepared for that and close. You're done on that regard. Now you're gonna do this again. Assets, import package, custom package, and then you're gonna add the UniVRM one. Just click import. This is again going to take a few minutes, so be prepared for that. And boom, the VRM stuff is in. Now we're gonna bring in a Vroid model. As an example, I'm gonna grab an old one, uh, this one. This one is fine. Uh, just click save. Do, 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 do. This is taking a minute. This took a while to load. Again, Unity's kind of slow, but anyway. Now you're gonna click on your model and you're gonna click and drag into Unity. You use the scroll wheel to zoom in and the left mouse button to scroll around and move things around and boom. Or you use the middle mouse button to move it around, I'm pretty sure. But now I'm gonna show you how to add the bone weight transfer tool into this. So you're gonna go to this booth website. Again, all these links are gonna be down below. You're gonna go to free download. You can do the support one, I guess, but you gotta make another account. How many are we at by this point? Then you'll be able to download it. And then you're gonna get this bone weight transfer tool in a zipped file. You're gonna go to that zip file. You're gonna cut the bone weight transfer package out of there. It'll have the Unity logo, so it'll be easy to see. And then I just cut and paste it into my downloads. So it was easier for me to find. Scroll down, there it is. Perfection. Second first, same as the first. Assets, import package, custom package, downloads, bone weight transfer tool, boom. Import, done. You have everything all set up for UniVRM. I don't know what you're doing, but it should work now. And if it's not, I'm witchcraft. To export your project, you're going to go to VRM0. You're gonna to wanna to type in a version title. Otherwise you're not gonna be able to export it. So we're just gonna say one. Gonna click export, save it to wherever you want. I'll just put it on the desktop for an example. Ah, example for specifically. <laughs> and there you go. It's all exported. You figured it out. Congratulations. You've got the basics down. Now I would like to take some time to establish some concerns or go over some concerns that people have had in uh, my previous video. I trolled through the comments so I would have a general idea of, you know, what people were worried about. Uh, so. Again, if you see a red edit error in Unity, uh, like so, this is because you have not uh, verified your email with Unity. I don't know why this works like this, but it does. Second, if your model won't appear when you import it, uh, the last version of this tutorial actually crashed when I showed the portion of this, but uh, for this one I did show it, you, once your model is imported, you have to drag the T-posed image, quote unquote, into the workspace in Unity, and then it will appear. Next, uh, if you have no VRM0 or only Siege Uni GLTF, um, this is because you didn't download both packages and thus you wouldn't have the VRM0 you needed to make things work. Uh, one comment asked me how to translate things into English. Uh, so for Google Chrome, you just right click on any page that has uh, a different language and you should see an option that says translate to English. Now, if you're coming to the comments section being like, Kiwi, Kiwi, I have this specific error, help. Unfortunately, that is just as much witchcraft to me as it is to you because, um, well, my dear buddies, I barely know how to do this. I figured it out. I managed to figure out a second time months later, and I'm very happy about that. But unfortunately, this is basically the extent of my knowledge. Anything else is probably going to require extensive Googling or problem solving on your behalf. And unfortunately, there's not a lot of information for us to work with. So hopefully I managed to man answer most of your questions. But if not, I'm just gonna have to leave it here. I'm not an expert, like I said, I've only managed to figure this part out. 
If you guys have specific errors, it might be Unity related, and in that case, I am even more helpless towards you. But if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe to keep the channel alive. It's the best way to support me, and beyond this much, I might do more VRM stuff, but mostly my channel has to do with uh, Minecraft. So I mostly made this video to make an update and to make things a lot easier for the previous folks who were struggling on the last video, because I slapped it together in order to try and help people, but even I, coming back to it months later, saw that it was confusing. So yeah, I, uh, I think I'll close this off like I, la I did the last video, maybe I have some new viewers, but what are you guys doing for models? Uh, I, this is my old fairy model, I think I'm gonna make an updated version that's more like my actual avatar, hopefully, <laughs> if I can, but what's your avatar's name? Do they have a backstory? And I don't know, what program are you using? I just re-downloaded VMagic Mirror to make things uh, like this again. But anyway, enough chit-chat. I know, I know, most of you have left. I know how engagement works. But I hope I, I helped. I hope you guys are doing fine. And I hope this updated version is a lot easier to follow. Bye bye